hello what's up youtube Ronnie sweet and astro and this is going to be like a quick one and if at all you haven't hit the like button on this video make sure that you hit the like button so that you don't miss out on the best content that is yet to come on this channel so a moment so that you can hit the like button on this video and when you're done let's kick in and we start learning about how to color grade your images using the camera raw filter so usually i do my color grading in capture one and most of you people I found out that most of you guys haven't tried out Capture One or you don't have the money to purchase or pay for a Capture One license. So I'll show you guys how you can do this in maybe your Lightroom or the camera filter in Photoshop. So this is the image that we have or we are going to be working with. And we want to color grade this image from looking like this to looking like this. So you can see how nice and simple this is going to be. In just the camera raw filter and those who always ask about my camera settings this is the raw file and I shot it using at ISO 200 at using a 7200 millimeter lens f2.8 and I shot it at 85 millimeter and the f-stop was f5 and the shutter speed was 320th of a second so what I'm going to do I'm just going to come and I reset everything so that we can land everything from the very start so I'm just going to reset to a uh, default so that we can learn everything uh, from the start so usually if at all you shoot in row this is going to be like a more added advantage because you have a lot of colors to deal with or enough details to work with in your images so i uh, usually when i'm working on the raw files i start from the highlights to regain back the detail in the blown out highlights just like that and I do the same for my whites just a little bit and after doing all that I add contrast to the image so this is more like processing my raw file to look good and one little reminder for you guys every single time you're color grading your images make sure that you have a calibrated monitor or screen that is going to show you guys the accurate colors so that you don't get everything wrong when you're doing the color grading. So make sure that you have the monitor that is going to display you the right colors or accurate colors. Because you don't want to land into those problems so by the image is looking different in your computer and on your phone it is looking a little bit way different. So after adding some contrast into the image, I count the blacks and I punch in or push in the blacks to get more contrast but this adds or introduces shadows into the image so I just come and I open up the shadows just a little bit to around 23 and I could just pump up the exposure slightly and right now the image has that nice and rich contrast so I tend to add clarity into the image to around I go with around 5 then the next thing I prefer to do is coming under the vibrance and under vibrance I simply knock this down slide it around negative 4 and I think that looks good so let's see before and after so far this was the image before and this is the after so our after is really having that nice and rich contrast that we are looking for in this image so after doing that the next or where the magic is going to take place is going to be in the HSL panel. So HSL is more of hue, saturation and luminance. That's why you have hue, saturation and luminance and hue is more of maybe the opposite of a given color. That's, that's what I can define it. I don't know the right definition and saturation is more of the intensity and luminance is more of the lightness or darkness of a given color. So where I usually start from is under the hues and what I do in this option I simply hue the reds because I'm dealing with skin tone so I'm just going to hue the reds and I take it all the way up just I think at around 40 we are good to go and you can see the skin tone is now looking a little bit more even then what I do next is coming to the oranges and I simply turn the hues up a little bit more so let's see the before and the after so far the skin tone is now looking a little bit even and we don't have those red 
spots that were in the skin and the next thing I, I do is coming to the luminous and under luminous I tend to push this down just a little bit so that uh, the skin tone can really be good enough so you can see that the skin tone is now looking solid or unique and after doing this the next thing I'm going to do under saturation I, pr I tend not to handle anything under the saturation slider regarding skin tone but if at all you have any other color that you want to remove out of your image you can play around with the saturation slider but usually I only leave these the way they are under saturation and those that looked at this image when I posted it, you noticed that I had some kind of greens in my highlights in this image. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to simply turn this up, the saturation. So under highlights or under split toning, I'm just going to turn this up. Then I move the hue towards, just going to add that kind of green filter into my image just like that and i think that is how the image was looking but i feel like the saturation or the intensity of that effect is too much so i'm just going to come and I reduce on the saturation just like that i think at 11 we are good to go and now where the next thing or oh, what i did next was coming to the calibration option in uh, the camera filter so under calibration we have different colors we have red primary green primary and blue primary so under this calibration slider what we are going to do basically is coming first of all to the red primary and simply reducing on the saturation in the red primary i think negative six is fine then you're going to come to the green primary and also Slightly reduce on the saturation of the green primary. Negative 3 is fine. And simply move the hue of the green slightly up. So I'm just going to leave it at around 7 is fine. And come to the blue primary and simply move up this up to around 4. 4 is good. You can see that we now have even skin tone in this image. So you can see a before and after, before and after. So after doing all this, I'm just going to come back up to where it says uh, the HSL panel. And under HSL panel, I'm just going to intensify specific colors. For example, my hues. I feel like the image is a little bit more of the yellow. I'm just going to move the hue towards the red side. So... As I'm moving this, you can notice that it is going to be introducing reds into the image. And I'm just going to move this a, a little bit more to around 40, 48 or 40, let's go with 45. So let's see the overall before and after for the color grading of the skin tones of this model. So this is the before and after before, after I can say this. Our after really has uniform skin tones. Let me just zoom in so that you, can, you guys can see everything. So I want you guys to look at this specific area right here. So when I turn this off, you can see that we had uneven skin tones. We had magentas, a little bit of reds, and we have some yellows right here. Then we have a little bit of oranges. But in our after, I hope you can see that everything tried to blend in into the image so basically this is how i would do the color grading in the camera filter for these particular images and if at all you wish you can go ahead and do some little bit of eye and teeth whitening and this is going to transform your image to a whole new level so just zoom in and come and get your adjustment brush tool and simply reduce on the temperature to around take it towards the blue side to around 19 and do the same for the tint to around around 50 let's go with around 50 and come and desaturate the rest of the colors up to around negative 67 and simply paint over the white area of the eye to whiten it and this is going to really transform your images to a whole new level so just come and paint over 
the white area so you only have to paint over what you feel should be white in your images and when you're done doing all that you can now open your image into photoshop to do the skin retouching and other adjustments like blemish remover and finally save your images and if at all you have learned something from this video don't forget to like it and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching from this channel for the very first time Ronix from Ronix Photography, thank you for watching and see you in yet more tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.